Hey guys, today I have an ethanol cooling system for you without the help of a steam turbine. Of course, that is also an option as some of you stated. Here in this simple setup, for example, I just have a thermo aqua tuner. Run a simple liquid loop to the metal tiles. The metal tiles are cooled that way. The liquid ethanol is heated up because of the aqua tuner, turned into ethanol gas. The liquid ethanol with its heat properties of a specific heat capacity of 2.46 turns gaseous. The gas only has a specific heat capacity of 0.79, hence taking the large heat capacity it has before, reducing it, deleting heat in the process. Enough heat deletion for this thermo aqua tuner to be cooling itself with this aggregate state change of just the ethanol. What am I cooling here? I'm just cooling the metal tiles. First the lower layer here for the ethanol to condense and drop down. The rest for a buffer because of the giant mass that the steel tiles do have. You can also use gold gold tiles or copper tiles and I do have a constant stream of 5 kilogram oxygen running through this being cooled down from 27 degrees 26 degrees celsius to a nice 6 degrees here 5 degrees here 7 degrees here 8 degrees here and 10 degrees on the lowest one this just symbolizes the cooling power of the whole thing technically you can also have it like this and cool down your base this here on top now symbolizes your base. You can either have this be a cooling loop running through your farming areas or through your living arrangements and then feeding back onto the same system. If you hook it up for example like this, cut it here, cut it here, you now have the loop run through your base. Or just for now to make it simple, let me symbolize your base cooling needs by adding water to the top here and maybe close this off. So now with this simple setup you can have your thermoregulator be cooled by the ethanol that is in the lower layer, turning gaseous, condensating and turning liquid again. Self-cooled thermoregulator that still is able to cool down your base. This is at 25.3, now let's wait a few seconds. And it's already down to 25 degrees celsius. Also, what is this down here? This is just used to fill up the loop, nothing special. So sorry for including that. And we might have one tile too much liquid, yeah, like that. Of course, this is not self-powered. You still need outside power. One negative of this is that you are not reusing the power of the thermo aqua tuner. I haven't tested the effectiveness of this compared to a regular steam turbine setup compared to a steam turbine ethanol setup, but I will do that later on. Let's check the temperature again, down to 24.6 degrees celsius. Does this have to be made out of steel? I did have a version of this before that used a gold amalgam aqua tuner. The issue with the gold amalgam aqua tuner is that technically it is able to keep cool enough, but the surrounding temperature is not transferred quickly enough to the thermo aqua tuner for it to work in some cases. The thermal conductivity again is only 2 instead of 54 and you see it takes heat damage. You can minimize that a little bit by placing a few temp shift plates here. Let's see that again, placing in a brand new thermo aqua tuner, but it will still take overheat damage. I did have a few designs that worked perfectly fine until I reloaded the game and then suddenly overheat damage for no apparent reason. I haven't come up with the design for the gold amalgam thermo aqua tuner yet that is small and reliable. If you make it big it is easier, but a small reliable system not as easy. Next question how much ethanol do we need and the answer is I used around 1000 kilogram in this area right here and I only used 200 kilogram in this area right here and as you can see the 200 kilogram version still works the same way but only with the steel aqua tuner cooling 5 kilograms of oxygen every second down from 26.7 degrees to 9 10 12 15 and 17 degrees celsius let me quickly show you the overlays of this oxygen power the heat overlay the gases and the liquids the piping overlay I do have a double bridge here so the overfillage isn't as easy but technically you can just have it like this. And this is the automation for the whole thing. For the automation it is important you do have an end gate right here in the middle. To the left the normal liquid pipe thermal sensor is set to above minus 4 degrees celsius for the polluted water so it gets cold enough but 
does not freeze in the pipes and the second hydro sensor set to above 10 kilograms of liquid so that the thermo aqua tuner only runs if there is actually a liquid down below. If we would remove the liquid here completely, is there even gas inside? Yes. Then it would wait for enough liquid to form to start up, preventing unnecessary overheat issues that way. And that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed this and hope to see you in the next one. I also have a main channel where I do have longer videos and sometimes a cool challenge like this one. So make sure to visit that as well. Love you guys and Luma out.